Hello, and today I would like to talk to you about something that could possibly change my channel forever. So, you may have heard of terms such as Tazbot, Megahack, Zbot. I decided, you know what, I'm probably going to be, I don't know, making some showcases or something like that. I don't have to pay people to make showcases for me, so I downloaded Hacks. Well, it's a very daunting menu, but I've sort of gone, I've sort of gone used to it. I've done a little bit of experimenting. So here it is. It's Tazbot. So Tazbot is sort of like the free mega hack on the Geometry H Tazbot Tazbot Discord. It gives you a set of instructions they they have to follow, whatever. So you like click the links, whatever. Eventually you get to the website where you can download this thing, and then you have to make sure you have, and you've got to make sure you've got like all your antiviruses off. So you know that includes everything you've installed other than Windows Defender. And what I mean turn off sometimes. Some of the antiviruses don't have a, you know, shutdown button, so you have to pretty much uninstall them all. And then you have to, like, disable Microsoft Windows Defender. And then after that, you will be able to view the page where you can install it. You install it, basically drop, uh, drop all the folders. Make sure it's the right geometry dash folder that you're dropping in the geometry dash XE, not into the app data. And then once you, like, dropped it there, essentially, you can turn Windows Defender back on, but you can't store any other antiviruses because they'll just automatically flag it and you won't be able to use it until you uninstall them again. So yeah, it absolutely shreds your antivirus software. I think it was worth it though. All you gotta do is, you know, it looks sort of complicated when this was just mysteriously disappeared, but I, I, I swear, you literally just hit the tab key and all this stuff comes up. So basically, you know, everyone sort of uses this stuff, you know, trick, curse, space, GD, A on air, whatever. Lots of creators use this to stuff to their levels, you know, make bug fix and everything. And yeah, there are lots of fun commands on here. So now that you know that I have make a hack, this means that I have to I have to say in all my videos, if you don't see something at the start that says uh, this has been hacked or this has been uh, legitimately verified, and then troll face pops up, then uh, if you don't see those things, then you can say it's legitimate. Or if you see any messages at the start saying it's legitimate or it's hacked, then yeah, that's probably me hacking. And if I say it's legitimate, it's me just trying to troll people, so yeah. Anyway, enough talking. Let's go through these hacks. Presented cheat bypass. I would highly recommend turning this on all the time just because it stops anti-cheat from like destroying this thing, I'm guessing. Accurate percentage, this one's very cool. Basically you get decimals and stuff. Safe mode. This is very helpful for when you're trying to play test a level so it doesn't automatically like say, oh you have 100% completed level when you really haven't because you've added more stuff to it. And then hitboxes are pretty cool as well. You can get the full hitboxes and hitbox trails and I'll show you what I mean. Zoom in, look, look at that, we've got hitboxes. So that's a hitbox, that's a hitbox, that's a hitbox. Hmm. Look at that, my wave has even got hitboxes. And then there's hitbox trail as well. This one is a little trickier. It's got a bit of setting up, so it's automatically down here at like transparency zero. So you have to pull up that slider. And once you pull it up that slider, you're pretty much good. And look at that, I got a wave trail. Allows for jumping in midair. Okay, I haven't I haven't tried that yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna give that a go. What? Okay. I can just jump in midair. That's amazing. Zoom bypass. What does this do? Zoom bypass. Nice, I just crashed geometry dash. It's a zoom part bypass I'm not going to play with because that just crashed geometry dash. Internal recorder. This is a recorder. Oh, that's excellent. I didn't even know that it was a recorder. If I like <clears throat> spam all these, what do these look like if I just turn all these labels on and then just play a level? Yeah, look at them just crowd my screen. I look like I'm a developer or something. Imagine for like an anti-hacking video, I just put these on like, Oh yes, I'm not a hacker. And I just like turn all this stuff on. Ooh, see look, I'm not a hacker. Although the most fun out of all these hacks has to be the speed hack. I'm going to show you how cool it is. Alright, let's do Skook and Chamber. Let's have fun with Skook and Chamber. Okay. I'm going to turn the native speed to 
Oh my god, this is amazing. This is so cool. Imagine being a skook in chamber like this. Someone would be, have to be like an absolute pro to just do this. Hang on, I had no idea how hard skook in chamber was. It was actually surprisingly scary. Ooh. Oh man, it's so weird seeing the end in slow motion as well. Okay, I'm gonna turn that back to normal. Oh. What have I done? Oh, 1 FPS. It's meant to be 60, isn't it? Oh my god, okay. I don't know, 15. Let's just be funny. Oh my god, it's a, it's a PowerPoint presentation. This is amazing. Oh, I'm actually, actually, I'm actually somewhat able to do this. This is, this is scary. Those, those bustles are just quivering like little hedgehogs. If I can use speed hack to slow things down, what if I, you know, speed something up? Let's try the blast processing, but it's sped up. Oh, this wave is actually twice as fun. Ah, this ship is terrifying. Oh my god. What am I doing? Uh, okay, I don't know how I'm doing this. Ah! This is freaking scary. Okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I can only go so far. 100. Wait. Oops. What happens if you play something with like lucky draw and like stuck it on speed hack? That noise is terrifying. You can stop now. Look at that, I'm at like several thousand attempts now. That actually should be really useful for just brute forcing auto verification, just speed hack on max. I'm gonna try botting like a real hard level. What's a really hard level? Oh, I know. Let's botch. Cry locked. Woo. Ah, chill time. And then I got action time, like straight after this. Oh my god, look at that. Cry locked redux is free. Hey. Yeah, I've got no idea what I'm doing here. I need to look at a look up a tutorial. Well, let's do crystal living. This would be fun if I did this one. And this is a groovy tune, by the way. I doubt how I can get it. That's pretty. That's pretty tight. Get to that guy. Ooh. No, alright. Oh, I can get to that guy. Okay. I'm gonna have more fun with this now. Ooh. Oh, this is gonna be double fun. Oh my god, that is such a tight spam. That's incredible. Oh my god, I can actually get consistent mode. That's amazing. I think that's the cap at 120. You can only spam that fast at 120. Oh, that was a cool bot. Woo. Practice complete. And you can see it's trying to do something, but nothing's happening. And my CPS counter is going wild. Maybe need stuff and start. Okay. Let's see, just go toggle bot, uh, load bot, go, oh, it's working, it's working, yes, it's working, <laughs> oh, look at that, Woo. sure, the watermark's a shame, but this is so cool to look at, oh my god, look at that spam, that's just stupid, woo,
Go little robot, go! <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> it's casually spat with the windows. That's amazing. Oh my god. Okay. So yeah, that is Tazbot. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun with it.